Hey, what's going on guys and girls, Alcoholic Phoenix here, and welcome to episode number 51 of the Subnautica Season 3 Let's Play series. So, now, we were over here, I've just spawned in an exosuit instead of grabbing the one from out there, because it's faster, and I don't feel too crash hot at the moment. Um, I seriously have a belief, like, I know this is unrelated to the game, but I seriously think that I may have, like, diabetes or something, because my mother has it, and I think... I've been very fatigued and I've got all the symptoms, but that's irrelevant to what we're doing now, so I just don't feel very well, so that's why I just really couldn't be fucked with it. But we ended up going through this teleporter and now we're down in the water. Oh. Aha. Um... <coughs> I mean, out of curiosity, I'd really like to bring the prawn in with me. I assume I can, because there's mineable ion crystals. No. Alrighty then. Crap. Ah, well, let's just see how we go. You, uh, had a little peek at what I could see. Mmm. You know what that is, don't you? Now... I'm not sure... what's happening with him. I had the belief that he would come out of where he is and pop up here to greet me, but he doesn't seem to be doing that. He seems to just be chilling where he is. Oh, fuck. Hi. Oh, you are a big boy. Holy shit. Look at the fucking size of him. Holy crap oh dude. Oh, he seems to be getting higher up. Oh shit. Here we go. Wow. You are a very, very, very big boy. Now, will he hurt me? I'm very unsure on this. Is he aggressive in any way? Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Is there a scannable for this? Oh, we're going to check this out. A little bit nervous getting close to him, but he seems like he's chill. He's actually swimming faster than I think I can keep up with him. Fuck, dude! Okay, hang on. We'll cut him off. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's scannable at this time. We've got some stuff down here, too. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Oh. 
What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Right off. Okay. All right, let's just get up there for a second and get some oxygen in us. Creep vine samples, three of them. Seriously? Okay. Um. Okay, that's not going to work. Give me a moment. Okay, got him. I got the creep vine samples. What the fuck? This is insane, dude. Why are you so happy? Why can't, like, holy shit. He's massive, though. All right, let's see. So, what were the two options? We've got a scanner room speed upgrade. I don't know, think that's supposed to be there, but okay. Hatching enzymes. I put the hatching enzymes in. Did that do anything? <laughs> Fuck me, what was that? Oh, my God. I got scared. Oh... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, this a little baby sea emperor. What the fuck? Holy shit! Dude. What the fuck? Thirty seconds. Fuck, what is it? Oh my god, look at this. What? Wait a minute. Oh my god, they're so ugly. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. What the fuck? Oh shit, everything has to load back in again. Oh my god, it made you move back to your position. Oh shit balls. Holy crap, Arelli. Look at the size of the mug on you. Wow. All right, so we got to head back up here so the Sea Emperor moves. It's fucking crazy. All right, come up here. Come say hi to me. Hello, Moto. All right, I just want to show you something, right? I know this is probably going to reset it, but... Look at the scale of my guy compared to the scale of the Sea Emperor. I'm as big as one tooth on this motherfucker's mouth. I know it would reset it because it's made it go. Holy shit.
That's fucking cool, dude. Like, but we've got little juveniles down here, little babies. Wait, where are they? Over here. That's crazy. I didn't think that was a thing. And I, all for three creep vine samples, which I assume it's going to be a bit more of a higher requirement as time goes on. We've just hatched all these sea emperor babies. I don't know what that does for us, but we've done it. And we've also got another teleporter that's over here as well. Aquarium warp gate. Alright, so we got a lot of stuff to read right now that we're going to quickly try and do. Holy fuck balls. Alright, let's see. So... Scans indicate this warp gate has not been active since the facility was abandoned. It likely serves as an access point to the surface of the planet. It is much too small for the Empress specimen to pass through, but may accommodate a juvenile specimen. Oh shit, maybe we can take the baby one of the babies with us. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find... Um... All right, there we go. A juvenile emperor specimen. This species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. This specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. It is also producing a highly potent form of enzyme, which may be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. All right, well. We know what they can be used for now. Primary containment. Oh, wait, let's look at the incubator device first. This alien device is some form of incubator attached intravenously to the Leviathan's eggs, allowing nutrients to be fed in. Primary containment facility energy transfer. This terminal appears to be controlling the delivery of a substantial portion of the power plant's energy to a vast facility elsewhere on the planet. Da 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 da. We've seen that. What is this? Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. This life force shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Okay, cool. Well, fuck me. But. What does that mean for us? Does that mean we can, like, one of the juvenile... Can we grab that? We can't get one of the juveniles, can we, and bring it with us over to the warp gate, right? No. So, what happens... What do I need for this? So, what happens if I spawn quartz and computer chip? And do this. What does that do for me? Does that actually serve a purpose or is that just a bug that it shouldn't be there? Because I would imagine it's not supposed to be there. One would think anyway. Okay, yeah, well, this doesn't seem to be able to be powered anyway. Like, I don't think I can do anything with that. Is there any other places we can go in here? Hmm. The fuck is that? Rogue Cradle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Complex cave dwelling fauna specimen. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a rigid cage, presumably to ward off medium sized herbivores. Barrow. Pharaoh Nuff Nuff. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I don't believe. What the hell is it doing? 
The varied plant life in this area is growing outside its normal biome conditions. The presence of other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. The sea emperor is frozen in time. Emergency. Not exactly sure why. Severe dehydration detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. Fuck! Can't spell! Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to the sea emperor. It just stopped swimming. So what's over here? Anything different that we haven't seen before? Hmm. So it would seem to me, I guess the end game plan is that you take a juvenile with you to wherever, like I guess to your rocket that you should be able to make at some point and then you get the fuck off the planet. I believe that's the intention. How that's going to work, I have no idea. I mean, for now, this is fucking cool, though. Look at that. Look at this big tentacle bastard. Let's see down here. Oh. Well, this goes under. The fuck does this lead? Where does this go? Oh, what? What are you? Furlid papyrus. Papyrus. The function of the distinctive curled leaves on this aquatic plant is not immediately clear. It is possible the leaves unfurl in low light conditions or that they are designed to channel water currents through the main body of the plant, thus enhancing nutrient take up. Okay. Okay, so they got like a little cave system underneath here, which looks pretty cool. I don't think there's anything more to it than this. I wanted to see if it led anywhere else. I thought it might have. But I don't think, like, it's getting to the point where there's, you can't have anything that goes deep enough. Like, I think, what's the prawn suit's limitation? 1,700 meters? I believe. Depth-wise. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell happened to the Sea Emperor. He kind of just froze. Or well, she. Frozen in time. I think she's meant to be doing the lying down animation and bugged out. Or maybe she's just watching her babies, I don't know. Crazy. Oh, shit. Just watching her babies, huh? Alright. Well, I guess anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Holy shit. Dude, this is fucking mental. So cool. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Alright, poise.